everyone and welcome to our live. Today's topic is going to be addiction. Addiction, addiction. So it's time to get real. It's time to accept that humanity is full of things that are great, but we also tend to also become dependent of a lot of things. For example, uh, Xbox, your cell phone, internet, Wi-Fi. And that's not to say the things that are uh, really bad that you're intaking that we tend to be addicted to like coffee, sweets, chocolate, alcohol, drugs. So let's be real. We tend to say, oh, I love my freedom. I don't want anybody uh, holding me down. Oh, I want to be able to do everything I want to do when I want to do it. Oh, I don't like uh, being tied down to anything or a job or a person or a situation. Oh, I love my freedom. I love to be independent and be on my own, right? But yet we become slaves almost to the things that we get addicted to. I feel like it's a human instinct kind of sort of to get attached to things, to be dependent of things. And we don't realize it, but after a while, we are not the same without the things that we are uh, used to or we're addicted to. Um, it is really bad when these things that we get addicted to become a problem and where you stop not getting along with people or people realize that we have a certain kind of addiction, whether it's uh, social media, whether it's um, technology, whether it's drugs, alcohol, whether it's sweets, whether it's food, anything that we do too much of can become addictive. Now, I'll tell you what, the first thing we say when we know that we are addicted to something is, no, I am not addicted to it. I can do without my cell phone for a whole day. I can do without drinking coffee for three days. I can stop drinking alcohol for a full month. I can stop taking these drugs um, and I'd be okay. I can stop, I can stop, I can stop. Yet, we find ourselves almost in prison. We find ourselves in need of these things. Again, whether it's coffee, candy, chocolate, drugs, social media, technology, it's almost as if, we, as if we ourselves love or like or look to get addicted to certain things. It's almost like if we don't have an addiction to something, we're not ourselves. And that's the problem. When we don't accept that we are doing too much of whatever we are doing, I'm sure that everyone is familiar with a little bit of everything is good, but too much of it is not. Well, this applies to absolutely everything that we do in life, whether it's too much exercising, whether it's too much reading, whether it's uh, too much uh, partying all night, and then maybe going into work the next morning. We are not the same when we do too much of everything but we also fall into the stage where we refuse to accept that we're doing too much of whatever we are doing. We're always in denial. We always think that we got this, that it's not a problem. And we're also good at judging other people that are doing certain things that we think are addicting or that are not good for us. And we never really look at ourselves and realize that we also have addiction. But I'll tell you what, the great thing about humanity is that we adapt to anything. So let me give you an example. If today something would happen where we would not have technology at all for five days, where electricity would probably be gone or the internet wouldn't be working for a, a month, we would actually adapt to that. We would go back to maybe reading books, we would go back to calling each other. We would go back to remembering each other's phone numbers and calling them by phone number, not just looking on your smartphone and picking the name and 
calling them by choosing the name because humanity can adapt to absolutely anything, including not doing too much of the things that we know are bad to, uh, for ourselves. Now, the thing about addictions is that as long as we know that we are, have a problem, we can do something about it. And we could be addicted knowing that we have a problem and we could start working on it. But when we know we have addictions but refuse to accept that we do, even if we know it, that's the problem. Again, because humanity adapts to everything, even to the idea that we're addicted to something and we need to work on it. With that being said, that's really not including things that we actually intake, like artificial stuff, alcohol, drugs, things that don't just that we don't just become addicted to, things that change our personality, things that start creating a conflict at home, not just with yourself, but with your family members, with your kids, with the people that you love, things that we're intaking that are hurting our health our ability to uh, be ourselves, our ability to react to certain things the correct way, uh, the ability to um, reason to things. Now that's even worse. Now, I know I said addictions like cell phone, internet, Wi-Fi, but in taking something that artificially changes our mood, our happiness, how we think, the thing we do is way worse. And that's when we really have no time to say, oh, I'm not addicted to this. Oh, I got this. Oh, I don't have that problem. No, that's when we really need to accept that we have a problem and that we need to work on it. Now, if you're in denial of a condition that you have or an addiction that you have, when a loved family member comes to you, and talks to you about it, please don't refuse to talk to them or hear them. Hear them out. There must be a reason why they're telling you this. When a friend is really a friend and tells you that you have a problem or if you do to work on it, please listen to that friend because he or she is, they're actually being friends. They're actually doing the right thing. Now, when you bump into people that know you have an addiction, and yet still offer you the things that you know are going to hurt you, please don't call him a friend. Do not fall into this is a great friend because we do the same thing together and they offer it to me because that is not a friend. That is not a loved one. One of the things that humanity has that I don't think I see in other beings is self-destruction. We can actually do that to ourselves. But even with that, you should have pride. When you're hurting yourself because you're doing it yourself with alcohol, beer, uh, weed, or drugs, whatever, you're making that choice. But when you're allowing someone else to help you make that choice to destroy yourself, you're not just being an addict, you're being a weak-minded person. With all of that being said, I want to tell everyone that there is hope. Another thing that humanity has that is absolutely awesome, as I said earlier, we can adapt to anything, even to changes. We could do anything we want if we want to do it. So don't lose hope and reinvent yourself. Fight for yourself. Stick up for yourself. Fight for independence. Fight for freedom. Freedom of technology, coffee, drugs, weed, anything that you want to be free of, you can do it. You can accomplish absolutely anything you want to accomplish. Don't you doubt that for a minute. So everyone, if at any time I sounded rude, serious, or demanding, I want everyone to know that I really hope that I've inspired you to be more alert and cautious on the things that you do and don't be afraid to, accept, uh, to take responsibility and accept the things that you know are wrong. That is one of the first things you should be proud of, to accept 
and have the dignity to say I need to work on this. There is hope and I really wish everyone that if not themselves are going through situations or issues with addictions, maybe a family member, a friend, a son, a daughter, a parent, to support them, love them, congratulate them when you see positive changes in them, support them. And if you're really a good friend, do not offer a friend something that you know is bad for them. Encourage them to continue to do great. Encourage them to um, move forward and push them to reinvent themselves to be better people. There is hope. Life is great. Let's make the best of it. Well, that was the topic of today. Thank you in advance for the time you invest in watching my videos. I only want to be helpful and be that friend that we all need sometimes. That friend that sometimes we all wish we had. So once again, thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to like.